So let's talk about the iPad memory. What is the iPad memory? Let's get into it. So a lot of people kind of confuse the two terms. So there is a storage and also the memory. And these are like the two separate things. If we take a look at Android, which has it symbolized much better, you can see in the settings much clearly that there is a difference between a storage and a memory. The storage is essentially the capacity you know about when you buy your iPad, like 256 gigabytes or even one terabyte. You know, it's the storage that is used to save your apps, photos, and all of the media on your iPad. The memory, however, is not the same as it is the random access memory, RAM, which helps with multitasking and performance. So this is how much of current activity is like going on at the same time. Obviously, the more RAM, the better. But for whatever reason, Apple tries to not to disclose this amount to users when selling iPhones and iPads. So we have to kind of dig deeper and find it out on our own right? But it is kind of like hidden from the settings and from the product description. Apple just tries to keep everything as seamless and easy to use as possible. So they are avoiding these details. So we don't really, you know, care about that too much. However, the best way to clear RAM on the iPad as well as iPhone is to restart the device as you don't really have any kind of button to force stop an app or to clean RAM, right? This doesn't really work that way. So you can restart it and you should be good to go. So hopefully I explain it to you properly. If there are some things you might want to ask, go ahead and leave the comments in the comment section below. Thanks a lot. Hit the thumbs up and I'll see you in the future video.